Welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I'm Stevie B. Happy to have you with us. Uh, it looks like the Next Island team really did it up big for Christmas last year, and they just decided to leave it. I'm loving it. They've got the big giant Christmas tree over here. They've turned the posts into candy canes. We've got some snow figures. Um, really, really loving it. Even the shopkeepers got in big decorative columns above the shops with some Christmas trees. Uh, all kinds of ornaments going on. Uh, they got Christmas trees for sale even. Some really cool stuff here in the shopkeepers. I was checking them out a little bit earlier. And the shopkeepers have really come a long way. Uh, they've really been doing it up good. They've got some good items for selling their shops. Lots of pills, lots of staples, lots of stuff that y you need for missions. And just some cool stuff all the way around. Um, so if you guys are going to be on Next Island, hop over to Crystal Peak and check this stuff out. Because they've got some good stuff. Like I said, pills. Uh, helicopters, all the, the basics, pets and stuff, but they, they've got some really, really interesting stuff too. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Dandy little face mask. That's pretty, that's pretty rocking. Decorative magic flowers, some corsets. There's some really cool stuff over here. So I could spend all day just shopping here and blow my ped card, but we're not going to do that. Um, so this is video number three that I'm going to be putting out there uh, for the first month of the community rec program to see if I can get armor piece one that I'm due from last year and armor piece two from this year for the Ascension armor. Um, just so you guys can see, I did send Socrates in-game mail today. I messaged you last year about the Ascension armor piece I was entitled to because of the competition's first month. I never received it. I also never received a reply to my message asking when you can meet with me so I could receive it. The dev team has done a lot of great things in the right direction for Next Island and Ancient Greece and deserves to be recognized for that hard work. So I would love to participate this year, but it does not make much sense if I'm going to keep qualifying for the armor and keep not getting it. I'm one of the easiest players to get a hold of and was pretty disappointed when I didn't even get a PM response. I'll be on Next Island a lot the next few weeks so please let me know when we can resolve this um i again if they've got a specific problem with me i get it because the dev team sucked for a long time they did a lot of things in the wrong direction for a long time but they've also been doing a lot of things in the right direction lately and i think they deserve praise for that if you're going to open yourself up to a competition where you want players to really tell the truth about how you operate and what it's like being on your planet that's fine. There's going to be some criticism that comes with that. You guys announced that I got it, then I didn't get it. So don't get it, but hopefully we'll get it resolved. It won't be an issue, and we can just move forward with it. So first things first, before we actually go out and about, we're going to see if we can get little Roomba Pet here to do some auto looting. So let's show pet status. So we've got the focus at 76, XP at 16%. Uh, affection 77, mood happy, 91% fed, and we've got our little buff light slid up now that we're above 74%. So let's go to passive effects, loot nearby creatures, and why is it still locked? I am so lost as to why it is still locked. Level required 19. 19 Okay, I will have to figure out What the deal is That makes no sense But then again pets are not my forte why is the criteria only 50% met? I don't know. Oh well, we'll put up Roomba Pet for now. Okay, well, never mind. That's a bummer. I'll figure that out. We'll put that in the next video. Again, pets are not my forte. I've never actually unlocked anything until I unlocked his very first uh, little thing earlier before I made this video, which that was like a couple days ago. So let's go to our map here. We're going to head over to this little dot right here. Oasis Outlook. Let me get the info pulled up. I'm going to need to be talking to you guys about 
while we're out trying to hunt. We're going to try hunting some chimera. Hey, I actually pronounced that right. Um, young or 550 HP, damage level 15. I don't know the damage types and I don't have armor with me anyway, so that's okay. So, I want to make some videos about things that people might not necessarily be able to easily find the information for elsewhere, um, especially stuff that I find interesting. So you can come to Next Island and you can loot incision plates. They're little armor plates. And you can loot the basic incision plates from sand boar, mountain boar, village boar, or wild boar. Um, they don't have very good stats at all. Uh, I believe max TT value is like 32 ped. The cool thing is these things can be upgraded. So you can upgrade them to adjusted, improved, modified, perfected, gorgon, whatever. Yeah, the, the same stuff that they do for everything where you're going to upgrade something, right? Let's see if we can find the chimera to begin with. Before I blow my entire wad talking about what I'm going to be talking about. Where are they? So, wiki isn't always accurate, but wiki says 127, 728, 8340. So, where am I? 127. Eight three forty. So yeah. So it should be like right over here. One twenty seven. Here we go. This should be them. Should be this red dot up here. Um, so you can just get the basic incision plate from the boars, the different types of boars, right? Um, the basic incision plate is obviously going to be the starting point. Now, what's interesting about these is this is something they first did with Crystal Palace. Uh, with the plates up there, and it's something that's always made Crystal Palace worth going to. It's one of the reasons a lot of people like to go there, is because the 5B plates are upgradable, right? And as you upgrade them, not only do the stats get a little bit better, but you also get a block chance. So 1% block chance, 2% block chance, 3% block chance, 4% block chance, etc. And challenge unlock, sweet, so codex, yay. Um, so the whole idea is that as you go through, once you've got the plates, you want to upgrade them if possible. So the reason I chose Chimera is in order to upgrade them, you need these things called sinews. So you're going to need adjusted sinew for the adjusted plate. Uh, improved sinew for the improved plate, modified sinew for the modified plate, augmented sinew for the uh, augmented plate, and perfected sinew for the perfected plate. Perfected plate gives you a 5% chance of block and has some pretty decent stats as far as the actual protections go. I'm not 100% sure what the protections are. So there's kind of a recipe to the madness here. So you get the incision plate itself from the boar, right? Then you have to go out and you have to loot the sinews. Well, I've got breaking news for you. The plates themselves are not going to be the hardest part of the recipe. The hardest part of the recipe is going to be the sinews. So once you get a sinew, you also need fullerenes. F-U-L-L-E-R-E-N-E-S. Fullerenes. Something like that. Anyway, those drop from CARE, C-A-R-E, Portal Guardians. Um, so, obviously, I haven't hunted any of those yet, but I'm sure those drop fairly not super hard to get. Because the recipe to actually make the sinew you need is one sinew of whatever type, plus 10 fullerenes for adjusted, 20 for uh, improved, up to 50 for advanced. So, you see how that goes. So, once you have your sinews, and once you have your fullerenes, and once you have them in correct quantity and you create the advanced whatever sinew you need and you have your incision plate then you've got to have all the stuff to upgrade the incision plate itself so what would that be well for adjusted it's 300 lesser elysian uh 100 crystalline core 1500 muscle oil a thousand elysian tech chips 50 chimera heart 100 aggregate crystals 
one neo weave adjusted and one incision plate so that's just to get one adjusted incision plate then to get an improved incision plate you need 350 lesser lysian uh, 200 crystalline core 700 animal eye oil 2000 elysian tech chip 100 amazon leg 125 tiger's eye one neo weave improved and one incision plate adjusted so what i like about this what, what, what i'm absolutely loving is to get all the way through it, it doesn't stack it doesn't seem to be that to get adjusted you need one incision plate to get improved you need uh two adjusted to get improved you need three of the one before that and that is what is such an absolute pain about some of these where you have to go through the entire stack is you just need more and more and more and more so you end up having to make like 500 adjusted to get like 300 improved to get like 50 modified it, it gets absolutely stupid very very quickly with some of those missions and this doesn't seem to be that way now obviously the hardest part is going to be getting the sinews themselves um, the advanced sinew which is the first step on the little ladder for incision plates drops from chimera which is why i am hunting chimera um, obviously this is something where dpp inefficiency comes into play we're not going to open that whole bag of worms again but obviously you want to use a high dpp high efficiency weapon when possible to give you a better chance of looting those right better loot mix better optimal hunting i should be wearing armor i am not because i don't have any with me um, i also <laughs> stupid me forgot all of my blueprints back on calypso so i don't even get to do the crafting i came all the way here to do um, so obviously the sinews are going to be the problem like i said adjusted drops from chimera the advanced drops or the improved drops from mary m y r i n i a n marianian don't know the modified drops from dadamor d-a-u-d-a-o-r-m-u-r man these things have weird names uh i'm guessing those last two are from ancient greece uh the augmented drops from centaur and the perfected dro drops from boss drakes tempest flame tongue neocrosis and chill wing boss drakes um so pretty much if you're going for the pen perfected sinew <laughs> boss drakes for those of you who don't know are giant freaking dragons yes like actual literal dragons and they are level oh my lord um so the flame tongue is a f fire dragon chill wing is a freeze dragon necrosis i guess just kills you and tiffus i guess just has a bad temper but um they are definitely dragons i actually have a blueprint that is limited that requires loot from those that would make some really killer uh plates but literally nobody's ever really looted enough from the drakes to be able to make this armor plate it seems so i the blueprint is not hard to find but the materials to make it would be very 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 hard to find for this specific uh plate that i'm talking about it's not the, the incision plates it's a totally different thing um so needless to say if you're going to get all the way to perfected you're either going to have to be a very very high level player already or you're going to have to just get lucky and be able to buy those perfected sinews from somebody who was out hunting drakes and happened to get one so the reason i like this so much is it kind of puts it on par with some of the other things that have been happening on other planets um, for a long time the plate mission for the 5b plates was kind of unique to crystal palace it was one of the things a lot of players liked about crystal palace um, especially people who had the 5b blueprint like buzz and i always thought that was weird i'm not sure if the 5b plate blueprint came with crystal palace or if he managed to loot it um, i'm sure he probably just managed to loot it back in the day because he knew how important it would be but um, this gives players a chance to come to next island there's a similar mission on sirene i believe i'm not sure if arcadia has a mission like that uh, but it's something that mid-level players probably not something that newer players would be interested in but mid-level players for sure in the upgrade part 
Now, based off the fact that the village boar, uh, pretty much all the boars, let me pull this back up so I can see it. Yeah, village boar, sand boar, mountain boar, wild boar, mutant boar, since they all drop the incision plate itself, um, that's great for newer players because those are usually lower level if I'm thinking correctly. So it, getting that incision plate itself might be something just about everybody with more than five minutes worth of experience in EU can go for. To start adjusting them, to start improving them, modifying them, and augmenting them may be a little bit of a different story. Um, but it's still something that I like to see because these types of plates are very, very popular. They're very, very helpful in-game. And I'm personally not opposed to having more of them rather than less of them. Now, the Gorgon scales, the Go I'm sorry, Gorgon scales, that are plates do the uh, essentially same thing. They just have different protections on them, I believe. But they also do more or less the same thing. The, the whole thing with this entire place, doesn't matter if it's the 5B, the ones from Cyrene, the ones here, the incision plates on Next Island, or the Gorgon plates. So the big deal is when you adjust it, it has a 1% block chance. And then when you go from there, it keeps going. So when you get all the way up to the last one that's perfected, then you have a 5% block chance. Hold on one second, guys. People are blowing me up. So, sorry about that. Um, remember that you would need seven total. This isn't a one and done, right? So, you would need seven plates for an entire set of armor because there's seven armor pieces. So, you would need one to go on the harness, one to go on the arms, one to go on the legs, one to go on the thighs. You see where I'm going with this. So, the thing with that is, yes, getting seven of the perfected sinews is going to be very difficult. Um... It, that was the big problem with a lot of the missions that we have seen so far that have an upgrade process to it is you might need one to make an adjusted right but then you might need two of the adjusted to make an improved and then you might need three of the improved to make a modified and then you not might need uh, four of the modified to make a, an augmented and so on and so forth so it's not like that but to get an entire set to have one for each piece, you would indeed need seven. So I don't need one adjusted sinew, I need seven adjusted sinew. I don't need one perfected sinew, I need seven perfected sinew. So that will be a little bit of a pain, but with enough time, with enough effort, is it doable? Yeah, I don't know uh, exactly what's already been discovered and what hasn't. I believe that so far, the regular I know have been discovered. I believe the adjusted have been uh, discovered, and I think the improved might have been discovered too. It might go further than that. I don't really keep up on what's been discovered and what hasn't. But I wanted to let you guys know because if you're going to be coming to Next Island and you plan to be spending a lot of time here and you plan to be making it your home or your home away from home, this might be one of those things that's good to do as a long-term goal. If you try and make getting a perfected set of these pl incision plates an immediate short-term goal you're going to drive yourself insane um, it's the same with like the the dsec armor on dsec 9 uh, yeah do i want a perfected set someday yes is it going to be anytime in the near future no now there are players that come uh uber players that come out here and they just camp something like the gorgon uh spawn and they they just go all day every day with the best weapons the best gear the best skills in game and their goal is to just turn out as much armor, as much upgrades, as many plates as humanly possible. There are a few that do that. <coughs> Lunchbox. Um, however, however, um, there are not very many people that can do that. It's few and far between. So this is something that, like the DSEC 9 armor on DSEC 9, uh, would I like a perfected set someday? Yes. However, I know that if I try and make it a short-term goal, I'm just going to drive myself insane. Whereas if I make this a long-term goal, then 
it will not disappoint me when I have hunting runs where I don't manage to get a sinew, or I have hunting runs where I don't manage to get everything I need to upgrade a plate, or I have, you know, weeks where I don't get everything to have the full set that I want right then and there. Um, it's not going to be a big deal to me. So make it a long-term thing. And again, just know that there's going to be some point where most players are going to get stuck. Most players are not going to be able to go out and hunt drakes, um, giant level 60, 70, 80, 90 dragons. That's just not feasible for the majority of players. However, I think it is very feasible for most players to go after the basic incision plates. I think it's very, very feasible for most players to go after maybe trying to improve them or adjust them. Uh, I don't think that would be too far outside the realm of possibility at all. So, guys, keep it in mind that as a long-term goal, super, super cool, right? So, I'm going to leave it right there for today. That is what I wanted to show you guys because finding the information was a little bit difficult. Um, finding the information, I was actually able to find it via courtesy of nihelper.com slash incision dash plate. That's nihelper.com slash incision dash plate. Um, this web website does seem to be fairly up to date. And, uh, oh, this site is officially supported by Next Island LLC. Cool. Well, that would explain why it's up to date most of the time. But it seems to have some pretty good information on it. So this is one of the things that I like because it puts Next Island more on par with some of the other planets in Entropia. It gives it some items that players can have as a long-term goal to try and upgrade and get their hands on and upgrade and get their hands on as a long-term goal. It also supports the economy. This is something that I told Next Island about two years ago, and they told me I was wrong. As I said in a video I put out a while back that I made on Cali, uh, whenever I was talking about Russian players not being able to withdraw, this is not necessarily a good game. If I want a good game, I'll go get a PS5. But we play this game because we love the game and we love the fact that it's got a real cash economy. So if your loot is full of junk, if your loot is full of, let's see here. Um, okay, not a lot of junk. What did I get? I got some socket two components. I got some oils. I got some shrapnel. I got some extractors. I got some animal oil res. And then what did I get? I got two crystals. Two different types of crystals, all right? This is an acceptable loot mix to me. If I'm getting nine bajillion different types of crystals that aren't really used to make anything, that's not acceptable. So I'm loving the loot mix too. Got to pat them on the back for that. Um, I told them and told them and told them, if you will get missions that people can do that can make them money, if you will give them a loot mix that can make them money, people will come. The game is all about the, the economy. That is what draws the vast majority of players. Um, you can go play any MMO if you just want to go on a weird kind of expedition adventure or if you just want to play a game where you can socialize. You can play any game for that. And they've really taken it to heart. They've really made the loot mix better. They've made more uses for a lot of the stuff that was in the loot that did not have a uh, use previously. They've even made a way to get your hands on some of the loot that you needed for some of the old school blueprints that very, very few people have when that stuff had been taken completely out of the loot mix. There's even a way to get your hands on some of that stuff now. So big, big pat on the back for a great long-term mission that a lot of players can use that will also help the economy. I can see people going to people like Lunchbox and being like, hey, I need perfected sinew. I can't get it. You can. Go kill some drakes for me. I'll pay you. Um, so it can actually not only be profitable from the aspect of selling the loot that you get but potentially this type of mission also has the potential to have players who do not have the skills and the gear potentially hiring other players that do have the skills and the gear to go do those kind of things so again recognition where recognition is due the incision plate mission i think is a great thing um, i think they've got it pretty well balanced as far as how difficult it's going to be to get the incision plates versus how difficult it's going to be to upgrade them at each stage so definitely, definitely, definitely a huge fan of how they did this. Um, they pretty much had a pretty good blueprint from some of the other planets. And then they obviously put the next island flair on it. I'm even kind of loving the design here. So I do want to give credit where credit is due. Big, big, big step in the right, dis right direction. And I'm just going to leave it there for today. If you guys want to help support us, best way to do that, head over to earnped.com. Because when you earn, we earn. 
much 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 appreciated also hit that little bell icon subscribe to the channel hit that like button because we've always got haters hitting the dislike button and if you guys have managed to get your hands on a upgraded version of the incision plate let me know um, what do you think of the mission chain do you like these do you not like these plates do you wish they were different what would you have a plate do if you could have a plate do anything you wanted it to do so i will leave you guys there i've been stevie b sip sip smack smack and i'll see y'all with another video later this week take care guys